So you are a professional and you need to start speaking English at work very soon. Maybe for different reasons. Maybe your manager is telling you to do that. Or maybe you need to start communicating with foreign co-workers. Or maybe you need to go overseas very soon for a business trip. Or maybe you just you want to get that promotion or you just want to upskill yourself. Whatever it is, you need to do it fast. What to do? In this video, I want to give you three simple steps that you can do to improve your business English fast. Let's get into it. Hey guys, before we return to the video, I just want to tell you that ESA is now open for application. So if you are a professional or an expat who need to urgently speak English in your life, make sure that you check this out because it's going to be super interesting. So go on the website, click apply now, and we will get in touch with you if you guys are a fit into this program. So back to the video and enjoy. So in this video, let's just take one example scenario. Let's say you are a digital marketer and then you are working for a SaaS company and your main responsibility is to try to increase user retention in the software. How do you do that? In the next week, you're gonna have to give a presentation in English to give out some strategies on how you can do that in English. And how do we prepare to get good at this in a short period of time? So the first thing that you need to do is to first watch and read a lot of industry content. So industry content is basically content that are related to your field of work. And we do this for two important reasons. The first reason is that by watching a lot of these, reading a lot of these, you're going to learn a lot of terminology, words, jargon, phrases in English that are highly relevant to what you need. You're going to learn how certain concepts, certain ideas, certain processes are explained in English, are articulated in English. And the second reason why this is important is that not only will this improve your English, it's also going to deepen your knowledge in this field, it's going to make you more of a competent professional, a knowledgeable professional. So watching and reading a lot of industry content are important for those two reasons. So how, you, how do you get started on this? So basically it's quite simple. You just go on Google or YouTube and search for videos um, that solve the current problem that you're facing. Let's say you want, again, you want to increase user retention. Just Google how to increase user retention um, on software or on an app and then pick two or three videos and then watch them till the end and really understand the points that they make really understand the content really learn how to actually do that so by the end of watching all these videos you should have a really good idea on how to actually um, solve this problem you don't have to know how to explain it. You just have to have a sufficient understanding on how to actually re um, increase user retention. And now we move on to step two. Now watch these videos again, but keep your notes open, your notebook or your um, notes app on your phone. So these videos that you found, they're really good quality. You're learning something new about that and you can actually use these ideas um, in your presentation next week. Now, the second step, you're going to rewatch these videos again, but you want to shift your focus. So instead of focusing on how to actually um, increase user engagement, you're going to focus on analyzing the English, the language that is being used. You're going to learn what kind of words they use. You're going to learn how to string sentences. You're going to learn certain terminology or more technical jargon on how to deliver these ideas, these concepts. So when you rewatch these videos, with your um, open your notes and then really um, as you watch, focus on the kind of words they use and then write it down. And then if you think, oh, that is a very interesting way to explain this concept, you write it down. This way you, are you have a collection of personal phrases that are highly relevant to you. If you see, oh, this is a very good way to explain it, I'm going to um, try to mimic the way this person in the video explains it. So this is how you maximize your input time. This is very active listening. So active listening involves expanding your vocabulary, analyzing the English that is used to explain concepts, and learning how the words are strong together. So let's say before this video, 
you kind of have an idea on this concept of like oh we're trying to make users stay um, spend a longer period on the app or in this on the software you understand that concept but you don't really know the word to explain this phenomenon and then from this video that you're watching you understand that oh that's called retention so by watching a lot of these videos related to your field of work you're going to learn um, how to name concepts and now we move on to step three the last step and that is record yourself summarizing these points that you have learned so we have moved on from input part to output part and output part is important because if your goal is to actually talk about this in you know with other people you're going to have to learn how to speak up so let's say you've watched many of these videos you have un you have very good understanding on how to increase user retention and now it's time for you to start explaining it to other people and we do this by practicing using our phone or camera let's say you have a vague understanding in your head first you want to try to record yourself explaining it with your own way in your own way so um, maybe you realize that oh the way I explain it I use really simple words I don't sound very professional and I sound like a child you know and then how do we do that open your notes again and see the the, the the list of phrases and terminology that you have collected and then try to apply it yourself so the second time you record yourself challenge yourself to use these words that you've collected and then see how much better you sound on camera how much more professional knowledgeable you sound and if you're having difficulties trying to explain these concepts using all of these fancy words then you can pause the video and then you re-watch these youtube videos that you've collected again and then try to copy that so at first of course you're gonna feel a little bit weird oh my god i i never used these words you know but the more you do it let's say on camera the more you record yourself the more natural it becomes so now you know the practice that you need to do to improve your speaking skills about your field of work about things that are highly relevant to you so the key to being able to articulate your thoughts or like concepts ideas in english is to first get a lot of input about this and then practice explaining these things out loud so input output input output repetition of course in order to be able to speak something with confidence you're gonna have to have a certain level of competence i won't be able to speak too much about you know increasing user retention on an app because i've never built an app before i never really had to go through that so so i won't be able to be too fluent speaking about that but if you are a digital marketer and then you have a very deep knowledge on how to do it and let's say the knowledge and the competence part you've got that down and then next what you need to do is to learn how to explain how to deliver these ideas to explain them in english and that you do it by watching a lot of videos and focusing and analyzing the english and the language that is being used in these videos so that is it for this week's video i hope that you learned something new and i hope that you can put these practice um these exercises into practice right after watching this video so i will see you next week in another video until then take care and bye bye